Today we're going to be talking about solar filters, regular solar filters, solar wedges, and H-alpha telescopes, which are telescopes specifically designated just to view the sun. To start, we'll actually talk about the regular solar filter, which the majority of astronomers do have to view the sun. It's actually a relatively um, inexpensive accessory, which uh, just goes on the front of the telescope and it filters out the majority of the light. This one right here costs about $130. I bought it at a local company just to support them. Also, you know, I wanted to buy one. Uh, Seymour Solar, just based in Utah. The construction and the design is very similar to that which you would find on Thousand Oak filters. Um, a Thousand Oaks, sorry. Really great filter, I've used it several times. Uh, this one's glass, there are some Mylar ones. I'll put a link in the description below where I got this one from. Um, but now, we're going to talk about the solar wedges. Um, okay, so I've got two wedges here. Uh, they're both the same design, which is the Herschel wedge, named after the, the person who came up with the design. Another name is the Herschel prism. It filters out most light, all except for about 4%, uh, through reflecting the light. Uh, the majority of the light goes straight through to the back. The mead actually has a translucent circle here, which doubles as a solar finder, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but like I said, same design. Because it doesn't filter out all except for 4%, there's actually ND filters that are added as well to filter out the light a little more, just to protect your eyes. But these are insanely sharp. Um, you can see sunspots over here with this filter, but these, you can not only see sunspots, but you can actually see activity on the sun. Price range, about $300 is what you're looking at. I'll put some links into the description for these as well. Okay, these are my favorite. So, right here we have the Mead uh, Coronado Solar Max 3, 70 millimeter, um, and the Lunt 50 millimeter, and both of these telescopes will let you see the hydrogen activity on the sun. Um, they both obviously differ in quite a few ways. One's white and red, one's black and gold. This one has uh, uses something called a pressure tuning system, and this one has something called a tilt tuner. Uh, what that does is help you refine that light so there's a little bit more clarity and contrast to the image. And that's when you can really see these amazing photos and activity on the sun. Um, you can see the filaments, you can see flares, you can see prominences. Uh, sunspots are just amazing looking at them. Um, but these telescopes are dedicated just for solar observing. Now, that being said, the Mead uh, Solar Max 3 design, not the 2, the, the 3 design, actually allows you to remove the filters both in the diagonal and in the front and then you this doubles as a regular telescope the size of the objective in the front this is a 50 millimeter this is 70 millimeter even though they're 60 millimeter etalons it's still a 70 millimeter telescope a um, little bit more zoom power better image let's actually talk about the blocking filter on the back the Mead or Coronado brand will actually say uh, BF 15 and uh, BF is blocking filter, uh, 15 talks about the size of the blocking filter, which is 15 millimeters. While this one is the B400, lot smaller, uh, well, it, even though 400 sounds bigger, uh, it's, it's basically four millimeters is the blocking filter on this one. Um, finally, we'll go over uh, the tuning. The Mead has three different ways to tune that light. This light is a single stack. Uh, this meat is a double stack. What that means is that it's filtering the light twice as much. Each of these filters has a tuning mechanism built in with it. First, you want to adjust the middle uh, brass wheel. And then the second is you actually want to turn the brass ring up front while looking, obviously. I think this telescope runs about, I want to say anywhere between like seven and $900 but still great telescope, fantastic, love it. Um, the Mead, depending on whether it's single or double stack and depending on the blocking filter that you buy, this can run anywhere between, I think like uh, about 2,000 to 300 or $2,300. Well, we've gone over a few different ways to view the sun today. 
uh, regular filters, solar wedges, and solar telescopes. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you did, feel free to like, comment, uh, subscribe, and even share the video. Um, yeah. And uh, again, I will leave links to everything seen here down in the description below. And we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.